Hey, I'm Tom Starr and you're watching Toasted. Tom, welcome to AD. Mate, it's good to be here. Yeah. What do you think? This is like, you probably your, I don't know, 40th time you've been well, here? No, mate, I've only been here probably four times, I think, now. So, yeah, this time just a short visit, a couple of days in and out. I'll see you, Mum. Is it, is it important for you, AD? I mean, for short visit doesn't sound very important. Yeah, I mean, it is important in a way. It's, it's always good to, uh, to come here with new music and uh, kind of push where I'm sort of going with my music and stuff. But, I mean, just a couple of days is enough for me, I think, nowadays, Mum. Yeah. Where are you going with your music? Because... In There's a lot, lot of, of yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, have uh, obviously me and, me and Crowdy, we have the cartel thing with our tribal and sort of Latin stuff, so we have that angle. And then also, for me at the moment, um, after such a busy summer, I had a lot of uh, festival shows. I realised there's not so much music that I can play on those stages, so I'm making a lot more sort of big room without being EDM sort of stuff that I can play on the big stages now. So a, really a lot of that, a lot of that, yeah. Really, a lot of old school stuff in your music now. Oh, mate, definitely, man. I'm an old like house head at heart, so yeah, a lot of lot of old samples and a lot of old the the old house sort of vibes and stuff, man. Yeah, for sure. Very cool stuff. Hey, uh, Night Train, uh, latest track by yourself out yeah. uh, September. Uh, classic stuff. Right. Classic samples? Of course, yeah. yeah. I love all that stuff, man. Stuff from the 90s and that's what I, was, what I sort of grew up on. So just trying to bring that back and uh, give it to the young kids, you know. I bet it goes down pretty well on the floor, right? Been, it's been going down great, man. Yeah, for sure. Uh, your remix for Rui, uh, Feel Right, it's on Everjack's label. He even that's uh, right. Yeah, came out a couple of days ago. It's been going good, getting some good support as well. So, yeah. 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 Again, an old an old vocal redone as well, you know. How did that happen? I mean, how did it work out? Everjack called you? Is it like, I've well, this track? I think it was just the guys that were on the label that spoke to me um, and, yeah, was after a remix. So yeah, I, mean, I, I actually had heard the track before and had actually spoke to my manager about actually wanting to remix it. No. And then they randomly called and said, do you want to remix it? And I was like, yeah, I do. So yeah, worked out good. Worked out Sounds good. so easy, but it's right. not probably, yeah, right? It's not normally that easy. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I think I was pretty lucky, man, to be fair. Yeah. Hey, we're here at Protocol Night uh, tonight, of course. Um, you, you've released music on almost, well, shitloads of labels, oh, right? Labels, man, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and of course, for not being a DJ, um, you, you have to explain a little how this works. Uh, because normally we're used to the fact that a band signs to a record okay, company. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, um, yeah, uh, you know. I mean, for me, I like making quite a range of music. And obviously, all the labels, they kind of have their sound. And because I sort of want to make lots of different stuff, I have to play some on different labels. That's, that's really why, you know. I get bored making the same thing, so... Yeah, I like to keep it varied, and in order to do that, I need to uh, need to put it on different labels. They plow through your social media, a couple of things that I'd love to. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the rings, man, the cartel rings and the, the necklace, uh, yeah, the chain. Yeah, that's that's the pipeline, man. They're on the way, though, man. It's been, been a long time coming, but the merch is, yeah, it's, it's on the way, man. Amazing. It's stuff. on the way. So that will be available for, for like, normal well, people? We've been saying it for about a year or so now, but eventually it is slowly coming together. So, yeah, soon, man. Yeah. A lovely pic of your daughter with a, a bottle of pink Moët and Chandon. <laughs> yeah, that's a favourite. Jeez, that's <laughs> early. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, man, that's, a, that's an old one, man. You've been digging deep in the old social media. Yeah, yeah. Of course, the older the better, man. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Hey, uh, let me see another track that I loved. It's a trumpet thing. You love that again? Yeah, another old one, man. Like, I used to love the original. We used to have it on vinyl when I was sort of just starting out DJing. And yeah, loved it, so I thought it needed a bit of an update. Talking about vinyl, there's also a picture of you plowing through a box of vinyl. Do you still play with vinyl, or is that no, just not, like a... Not anymore, man, no. I mean, I, I used to I used to tour and, and travel a lot with vinyl, carrying two big bags of vinyl around, man, and I don't miss it, to be fair, you know. But don't do you it. still actually, I mean, do you still own decks? Somewhere, yeah, I don't know where they are, but I've still got them somewhere, yeah. <laughs> I've got a huge record collection as well, you know, and I kind of do miss that sort of... The, the, just kind of having something you can hold in your hand, you know, from the music and stuff. It's kind of something that I really miss. So occasionally I go back through them, find the old samples and stuff, you know. Here's the thing that I have to ask you. Um, of course, back in the 90s, the UK ruled supreme on the dance floor. Uh, and now it's, it's, it's the Dutch are taking over. How is that possible? Oh, man, we're coming back, man. We're coming back. I hope so. Yeah, it would be good, I think. Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, I mean, it's, there's not been a, a massive amount of the main stage sort of music coming from the UK. I mean, it's more the underground stuff, the tech house and all that sort of stuff, which is really strong at the minute from the UK. But for the more big room stuff, yeah, it's been, it's been a bit quiet on the, on the UK front for a while, man. Drum and bass is getting really popular again. I was surprised actually. Drum and bass, I mean, in the UK, it's kind of changed into pop music now. A lot of the a lot of the stuff in the charts is kind of drum and bass sort of based. So it's kind of moved that way. I mean, there's always that underground sort of scene for drum and bass, but it's it's quite small, I think, in the UK. But yeah, there does seem to be a little bit more more of it coming through again now. So yeah, I mean, I love it. I love drum and bass. Same here. Same here. I was surprised we saw we saw a couple of NDC, for instance, play at uh, at Exit for forty thousand people going nuts. Festival man. Yeah, it's one of the best for sure. 
Yeah. Definitely. Hey, what holds in your future for you? Just uh, more of the same, man. Working on my music, pushing my sound, and just kind of uh, yeah, just trying to push my sound and get my get my music out there to people, really, man. I can imagine it was a busy summer for you. You played a nice. shitload of gigs. Probably the busiest summer I've ever had, man. Yeah. So it's nice to sort of the next couple of months I'm taking off from the gigs and focusing on the music and bit bit of family time and stuff, you know. There you go. Are there actually any 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 countries that you didn't go yet, but you would like to go? I, I can't imagine there are actually. Man, let me think. Uh, not that I can think of. I've not been to Vietnam. That's one. Other than that, mate, there's not many left, man. There's not many left. <laughs> <laughs> Are there still any goals that you want to achieve? Because, I mean, you did, you, you achieved shit loads. Yeah, just keep going onwards and upwards, man. Getting better on the backstage stage at the festivals and just uh, just getting myself about, man. You know? It sounds great, but, I mean, it's also tough. You know, we talked to the guys from Blaster Jacks and, of course, yeah, yeah, they, had, yeah. they did 250 gigs a year. and I didn't do that many, man. Jesus, yeah, man. that's a lot. That's a it's lot. killing, right? As well. mate, it's hard work, man. It's like, from the outside, it looks all glamorous, but, you know, it's a bit of a grind sometimes with the traveling and stuff. So, the journalists, yeah, knowing about like, interviews and shit, you know. <laughs> I'll leave you nice to it, man. It's all good. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Hey, thanks so much for your time, man. Mate, thank you, man.